What would you wear to seduce a politician? Probably NowSheWillTour.com. Yeah, probably. You think politicians will probably... I would imagine that this is the talk of DC. It's just shaking things up? Is it shaking up the agenda? I think... <laughs> 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 like, maybe, maybe... I'd be... Sh nice oh! job! Go ahead. I won't leave you hanging. I saw you go I for it. I'd say maybe... Um, I'd be shocked if it was 12. Your body count? But sex body count. What's the blowjob body count? The limit does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is awkward. It's uh, it's pride. <laughs> Again? Well, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, um, that's, that's, it's uh, pride month. We're, we apologize in advance. Yeah. <laughs> We're very sorry that you have to go through this as our straight allies, I'm sure, are yeah. already sick of we it. We have bigger problems in our world than some Fruit Loop sucking dick. You're telling me, sister. It is. Uh, this is. Which which? What pride is this for you? Now we're. This is pride number. Five. <laughs> I was at the. I, I was there that faithful night when Marsha P. Johnson threw the stone. Well, as we all know, that's how pride started. Did she throw a stone? Is that why they call it Stonewall? No, she threw a brick, babe. Oh. By the way, they're still reaching out to me to do. I want to do a show there. I only want to do a Stonewall show if 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 any can be in the back with with leather. a leather daddy outfit, like a shirtless with harness on, and like. A, I'm just like a pup mask. I think it would be so funny because I would know what you would want to say the whole time we were there, and just knowing what's really in happening, all caps in all, <laughs> <laughs> knowing what's really happening in your head, I think would be worth it, even if it doesn't translate to camera. Just knowing the the um, the allyship. We went have. there once. Do you remember? And we were, we were taking drugs that night. <laughs> Do you remember? And I took too many drugs and I was yes. freaking the fuck out. I was like, I need alcohol. Upstairs in that back room. I need alcohol. No, we were downstairs by the pool table. I was freaking out. I mean, oh I was, I wanted, I wanted four sh shots of tequila immediately. Yeah. Like, okay, something, we took the wrong pill or something. No, it was, uh, we were there for an event. Didn't we go for an event? No. Or it was just a regular night? I don't know why we would go there though. It Maybe was, it was an event. You know what the problem is? It, it's very like confrontationally in your face, Stonewall. I mean, we still might do a show there, but it's still just very much like, you can't say this. You can say this. It's like no. Let me. Let me be me. That's why I don't say anything. I just. Well, it sounds more like you're silenced. Yeah. Than you're silent. Um. Yeah. We are doing less this year for Pride. I think last year we went so crazy. It's like we just got to kind of. We had a bus. Re last we need year. to re. We had a fucking. <laughs> we had a double decker bus. I just don't have any. Honestly, I I, I have zero care in the world about. I'm all. I think gay pride is for the kids. It's I think, for the young. Yeah. I think it's for the young. I've. I. It's. 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 It's performative. It is. And it's. It's forceful. It's just like unnecessary for me. It's like you know, if it's someone my age, it's like I don't. There's nothing. There's nothing for me there. Yeah, I think once you've all. experienced it a couple times, and once you go through it, like all right, like it is. You know, it's important to have blah blah blah. Like to a degree, I get it. Um, but I'm. I don't have it in me to like bar crawl and like go to circuit parties oh, no. and go on a f you know walk down fifth avenue you know in between dykes on bikes no, and, you know the male coalition of uncircumcised cocks i mean that's not for me i have to see my juvet i have no time to be partying yeah <laughs> and that may be more that may be gayer than the actual pride parade itself steam well i don't see myself i i i, I oversee yes. as the staff is doing it <laughs> and then but, and then watches over it yeah, so making sure <laughs> making sure the seams are are, are, are joint you go uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's maribella let me show you again maribella mira mira yeah that's gayer than actual than the actual parade. well you know what uh this is the last we'll say about it for the rest of the month Happy Pride, everyone! Enjoy your lives. I hope every, I hope I hope it treats you well. I hope all your dreams, we wish you well. All your dreams come true. Yeah, but as, as and now going forward, we will be strictly. Boy, a, yeah. We'll be doing a straight Pride. Podcast. Well, let's talk about the orange elephant in the room. My president, <laughs> okay, Donald J. Trump. Here now, we go. Potentially didn't put this on her sheet. Here we go. He <laughs> got a little. He, there was a, a, a quote unquote whoopsie Le daisy. Little mix up in the courts. Not to, um, political, not to get political. Not get political. I just you know you know I'm never I'm not political. I don't like to get political. But it is I do like when there's something very dramatic happening and something cr like bonkers crazy and just to watch people have, watch how the 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 um the snowball effects of how it affects people and how they behave and all that thing. I just yes. think it's fascinating. It's like watching a, a movie. I like when people get triggered in any 
by I don't care. I don't care enough about all. anything. Yeah. At all in the world, not even my mother being killed. Like uh, I don't care about anything enough to, to, to protest or to chain myself to a fence or carry a flag. Talk it's about like, it. People have no lives. People I have saw no someone, lives. I saw. Oh yeah. The, and are I, you that trash? Are you that trash? And you're so dependent on what the government is doing in your in your fucking world that you have to. It's going to affect your life that much if someone else is the president. The whole thing. Is, like I, get get grow the fuck up. I'm gonna. I'm going to peel back the curtain here a little bit. I do think it is, and we'll move on from the Donnie in a little bit. It is a little bit weird. Like, this is what is the biggest news story in the world. Okay, the guy, the billionaire allegedly fucked a porn star 25 years ago, and this is nightly news every day, like life or death, live and die, like all this craziness, this crazy intensity around it. And he it. boss fucks a porn Meanwhile, star every night. Got crazy Nancy Pelosi. She's up 10,000% on the year with Nevada stock. Nevada, Nevada. NVIDIA. NVIDIA, Nevada, yeah. same do, thing. Do you follow the Nancy Pelosi track? Yeah, I, I do, do follow the Nancy Pelosi. I don't it's know just, anything I just, about that. I just think we have bigger problems than whether or not this guy slept with someone, you know, back in the day. Like the Pride Parade. We need to have that shut down. You know what I mean? Well, it's all violent lesbians anyway. When did you come out of the closet? I never came out. Ever? No. Never once? No, I didn't have to come out. There's nothing wrong with being gay. I just always said, when I, instead of liking girls, when I was growing up, I was like, fucking, JT, uh, fucking slam yeah. my throat, JTT. <laughs> Sla wait, what's the Slam my throat, JTT. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Slam my throat, Jonathan Taylor Thomas? No, I would just think, you know, I would say oh, like- Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would have crushed on guys. I wouldn't be like, you know, like, oh, this girls are pretty. Like, I never pretended to be straight. I just always, yeah. I always said it, well, I thought it was cute and it was boys. And it, when did you first you, realize? If you have a problem with it, then when my woodshop teacher- I'm sorry? Like when I saw like men, I, like, yeah, yeah, I loved yeah. men. You just knew right away. Yeah. It's still so weird to me that like people, like, oh, take your time, do your journey, whatever. It is weird to me when you see- And someone, no one cares who you're fucking. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, everyone mind your fucking business. You, you, you're worrying about who I'm, what, 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 who I'm hooking up in the bedroom? It seems a little bit strange. Mind your fucking business. In 2024, like I'll meet people in 2024 fucking loser. in New York City who are like, Ugh, I'm closeted. It's like, dude, what? I don't have time worrying about, my, worrying about what I, my own self. Like, you worry about what other people are doing? Worrying about your damn self. Yeah. Yeah, it seems a little bit strange. I think people are going to... I think everyone's pretty much over it to this point. It does feel like the pendulum is swinging. Like last year, we did so much for this fucking parade. And this year, it's like we need we need time off. But I did talk to a couple people. Feidelberg, who was on it, he was like, I think last year might have been the last one because it was so crazy. Like I would do it again like we did in the first year where we have a pickup truck. Like it's small. Like we walk around. We drink. Whatever. I don't know if I can do the big corporate brouhaha again. Like the fucking... Remember the center? Mm -hmm. In New York City, we gave them a hundred thousand dollars. Literally that afternoon, they were asking for more money. It was like, what do you want to ask for more money? Oh, they they were emailing us like for more donations that afternoon. It's like, what are we doing here? Like, where? Like, who was it? Uh, the center in New York. Okay, not the shit on the center, but like this whole like we owe like pride, like we owe gay people something. Like we don't. No one owes anyone anything. So fuck that. <laughs> we're out. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, Pride is great. So I did almost go to the Paradisco yesterday, but I decided what not is to that? because it's the top of the standard because I'm 34 years old and it's all That's like what they're calling it now? I think so. That's what it's called? called? Yeah. LeBane? Is yeah. it LeBane? But, oh, Sundays it's called Paradisco? I think so, yeah. Uh, but then someone told me, like, oh, that's over. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, it's over? I was they like, don't have it anymore? No, like, meaning it's not cool. It's like, I, I don't need to go to a cool bar. That I just need a, need a bar. The rooftop? I mean, yeah, I've the been rooftop. there before. Do you ever Not go during the, the daytime. I've only been at nighttime. <laughs> you ever go in the pool? No. I'm trying to think what's gayer than pride. Steaming a duvet. Sucking dick. Worrying about what other people are doing. Umbrellas. Gayer than pride? Yeah. Umbrellas are pretty gay. Umbrellas are I am self-conscious when I use umbrellas. Licking an ice cream. Up. <laughs> Licking an ice cream cone. Licking your dad's cock. Yes. <laughs> What's been your guys' favorite uh, a Pride brand logo change? You yeah, see any God. you love? I gotta be very honest. I'm, it's, I'm having a hard time digging for information. I have zero cares about Pride or anything that goes yeah. on with it. It's hard to find. Like, I started taking pictures They're yesterday. all the same. It's just the same logo, just fucking rainbowed. It's like. Yeah. I started taking pictures yesterday, walking around, being like, it would be fun to do like a TikTok of everyone. Because you walk around, it's like the fucking bodega has like <laughs> 3,000 fucking flags. It's like, what are you, you're selling like 40. We should start and, ripping like, them down. Licorice, and you have flags everywhere. <laughs> we should start ripping them down. You see the, the uh, protesters in Philly? It was gay pride and then Palestine protesters. Yeah. And all these queens blocked the Palestinian protesters. It's happening in New York, too. <laughs> yeah, Gays are the gays oh, those protesters met their match with these gays in Palestine mad at each other? 
No, it was the the Palestine protesters were trying to like cut into the pride parade, and so all these queens. Oh no, were like, I thought they absolutely were against each not. other. They weren't against each other. Oh, there are some like queer for Palestine, like whatever. But but what if you're a Jew and you're gay? Then don't you want to be pro Israel? Yeah, no, I would say lar- uh, largely gays are pro Israel. I would say very largely. I don't understand. But it was the video was hilarious. It was in Philly, and it was like all these guys were like, stop <laughs> to the people in the Palestine protest. And they didn't know what to do. Hey guys, Joey and I are going on tour and tickets are on sale right now. Make sure to go to nowshewilltour.com right now to get your tickets. But it was good. What did you do this weekend? I had the, um, I had a very nice weekend. Good. Well, I had to say goodbye to Wiggles. If you notice, Wiggles is not here right you now. put him down? No, I had to give him back to his owner. Oh. So this is a somber, um, this is a somber weekend for me because I had to, I met, but I had my last day with him. Um, we had to, my, I had to go to my engage, into an engagement party in mm-hmm. New Jersey. Uh, I gifted Baccarat crystal, of course, um, and it was nice. It was the pop, with Poppy, and I brought my dogs to the picnic or to, you know, to the party. I think it was the pink dick. No, the picnic, and oh. then we, um, you know, we hung out. And then I, t- I had to, you know, take I took double pills that day to make sure that I was going to be able to like what? part with him. So I took you know double and crazy pills, and then I had to just, I had a couple glasses of wine. I didn't get drunk though, because if I got drunk, I was going to be much more of an emotional, rational mess. So I couldn't have got drunk. So I had to do a perfect balance of. <laughs> then, 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 then I was balancing out the chemicals. Yeah, it was like it was like a, it was like a, a puppeteer show. She was a marionette of her own mind. Yeah, marionette of mind. Making sure that I wasn't going to be too over, like dramatic and crazy, and then get upset. And I don't want I don't want whiskers to feel the you know to feel the. Well, you wanted to, feel it to the, be easy transition. Yeah, so I kind of like I had a glass of wine after I got home. I didn't drink at the party. I had a glass of wine when I got home. And, Why? Um, because I just wanted to be present for my last day with him. That, was that serious? Yeah. And I, you know, and I just wasn't feeling it. So I, you know, I, so I had, um, I had a glass of white at Poppy's before I got in my Uber <laughs> and I went home back to the city and here I am. But I just have some <laughs> other news. I, I and, in other news, the pot, the father, the, the owner is going away for five weeks in September. Oh God. So buckle up. Bill, if you're listening, do not give Joey the dog. Why? Because you're going to fucking never give it back. I'll give it back when I see fit. <laughs> Where's he going? To, where is he traveling to? He's just a globetrotter. Imagine he's just going to all the prides around the world. Yeah, she's doing pride. <laughs> he's going to Spanish pride. Yeah, Barcelona pride. Barcelona. Um, so I went to goodbye to him, and then I got, I got, I went straight to Bay's, and I slept over at Bay's that night, and we had um, anal. No, we had oh. a nice time. We watched, um, we watched a Strickland fight, and um, <laughs> what a bro, and what a bro. Now we had a couple canned cocktails, and oh, with some like-minded gentlemen. Um, and we had a nice sleepover, and then the next day, so Sunday, the, all the roommates wake up. You're in the kitchen. What do you boys want? I know you got so- I yeah. know you want sausage. No ketchup for yeah. you. <laughs> and then the next day, I had the, the, probably the best day I've had in probably uh, like five years. Ooh. And it was it was a perfect day. It was beautiful out weather in do? New York City. Bay and I woke up. I went down and got us coffee. We had a nice coffee. Sorry, bad start to the day. Waking up. No, we woke up and it was beautiful out. It was gonna be, it was it was a breeze. It was a sunny seventy six and just like beautiful weather, and we just walked around. We walked we walked, walked for we we did uh, 12,000 12, steps. Oh, not. how many miles is that equal to? Twelve thousand steps. That's like what two three miles. I'm gonna look it up. Go on. Um, anyway, so we walked all across the west side. We went um walked all the way to the west side. We walked down the high line. Not, uh, not the high. We walked all the way down the um five the, miles. Yeah, five miles. We walked all the way down the um the west side highway on the waterfront. Uh, we went to Little Island. We um. Did sightseeing. We saw. We were watching all the dogs and all the runners, and just looking at all the sights. And then we went to. Um, we were just just seeing all the different things over on the west side. And then we went to lunch at the most amazing place I've ever seen. It's called Grand Banks. It's a boat oh, on Pier Twenty Five. That awesome. That's not the uh, like way down in Tribeca. Yeah. Yeah. That I thought it was called something else. That place is awesome. No, Grand Banks. So we oh, went there right. first time. I got to tell you, I've never had an experience like that in my life. It is a beautiful vintage boat. Oh, I, I know this place. It's um, awesome. And you feel like you're in an, an, an Lake Cuomo. It's like, it's so beautifully. <laughs> no, you do. Look at it. It is so beautiful. They, um, and it's have they have it's a full menu, a full oyster bar, and, and they have seafood. So we had I'll tell you what we ate in a minute. But uh, service, unbelievable. We walked right in. They greeted us. There was a, uh, you know, shout out to all the, uh, all the fans that were there, there was a big, a big table of uh, very happy fans that were there when oh, we walked really? in. Yeah, nice, very sweet. Um, but yeah, the staff there was incredible. Uh, oysters, they have a, a selection of five different oysters. Um, we did a dozen oysters, impeccable apple, an apple spritz on this boat. I don't know, I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it was the setting. Maybe it was the, the sunshine. The weather was. Maybe it was, it was beautiful. the romantic, loving, loving uh, 
thing in the air. Yes. But it was the be best April spritz I've ever had in my life. And, you know, lobster roll, 10 out of 10. We had some salads. We had so the French fries are so good. Like, everything was so good here. The vibes were great. The staff was impeccable. It was just, it was just a perfect day. And then we walked home. We walked past Taylor Swift's house in Tribeca. Cornelia um, there was a, Street. There's a, there no. a movie. I don't know what street it was. Yeah. There's a movie being filmed. Um, yeah, and then we just kind of had the rest of the day. And, we you know, we just hung out. But it was like, it was Canoodles. a perfect, si simple, perfect day. Isn't that the best when you have a day where it's like healthy and like relaxed? And, and like we got you don't exercise. Binge you don't I wasn't sweating. Yep. I was just like, I just had the best day. So, yeah, if you are in New York City, I mean, don't crowd the place because I have to get back there. But, um, <laughs> You know, responsibly, maybe one you and one other friend at an off off time, maybe when it's cold out, go over there. In January. On a nice day, please don't come. <laughs> <laughs> tell them, tell them, Nana sent you in January. Um, I got a shit brewing. You do? I think I have to shit real quick. Go for it. I'm sorry, you guys. You didn't say that was gonna happen. Well, because I drank two espressos. Go poo. I'll be go. right back. I'm not kidding. We will be. I'm, we'll I'm be right back after these messages. Introducing Way's new anti frizz cream. You're too busy to be frizzy. Grab Way's new anti-frizz cream. It's a lightweight cream that provides immediate frizz control and lasts up to 72 hours. They send this to me and Joey. It's hot out. We get frizzy hair. Even guys get frizzy hair. We're using this. We absolutely love it. Get busy being frizz free with Way's new anti-frizz cream. Provides immediate frizz control that lasts up to 72 hours plus heat protection up to 450 degrees. That's huge if you're at the beach, at the pool, in the sun, whatever it is. Uh, Way Anti-Frizz Cream has got you covered. It helps reduce and repair split ends while quenching dry hair with intense hydration. You'll be uh, way obsessed. You'll be way obsessed with Way's best sellers, leave-in conditioner, detox shampoo, fragrances, and more. Frizz free up your schedule with Way. Go to t h e o u a i dot com and enter promo code about for fifteen percent off any product. That's theway.com, d h e o u i a dot com. Promo code about for fifteen percent off any product. And Nana's back with her bowel movement. You feel better, about how, how was it? It was good. It was explosive. The thing is, I have um, I'm on the keto diet today. Just it's, today. It's ten a.m. I know, but all I had today, uh, not all I had. Walls. Wolves I had. I, you know, <laughs> on Mondays here at work, we have bagels. They get free bagels, and they have bagel sandwiches, bacon and cheese, sausage, chicken, cheese, spread a bagel and, and, and smears. I like to take the sausage, chicken, cheese, bagel. Shove it in your asshole. No, I take the meat and cheese off it and egg, and I eat that. I know. And I throw the, bag the bagel out. Keto means no bread. Yeah, pretty much high fat. And then I have, um, I'm have. i drinking um oat milk, but I don't think oat milk is keto. Anyway, is it's steak night at home. Is, <laughs> is <laughs> Nana's got a steak brewing. Is... Sushi part of the Mediterranean diet? Yeah. It is? Yeah. But no, like you have to have like limited rice. No, you can have rice on the Mediterranean diet. Because I'm having a pre-diabetes flare up and I got to get back to basics. Last night I did a, f I did a, I did, well, I did FBF on Friday. I what is your, what is your, pre what is a pre-diabetes flare up? It means my left foot is going a little That's bit gout, weird. Then. That's gout No, not it's like tingly. It's weird. Please so have it's, it amputated. It's, it's, oh my God, that'll be great. So last Friday, uh, I went out to dinner at this place Peg in Lourdes. Pat. Pe PLP, Peg Leg Pad for Full Pick Friday. I went out to this restaurant, Lords, and that started the binge. And then last night, well, I, I hear that's low calorie. I mean, low, low quality food, and <laughs> not nearly as nice as the setting I was in. Oh, really? Well, it's interesting. They can actually afford rent on land, so it is a little bit higher. But my boat, you can gamble on because it's on a, an open sea. <laughs> and then it was a riverboat captain. <laughs> Should we do a riverboat, a riverboat tour? I love boats. Oh God. Yeah, well, I had last night I did M&M's, I did sunflower seeds. I did this cookie that I thought had no sugar because it was like a protein cookie, but it had like 29 grams of sugar. Yeah. I woke up this Th morning just good, like, oh, you know what I'm talking about? It's like Lenny, Lenny and, and Larry's. something. Lenny, Lenny and Harry's. And Harry's. Larry's. Larry's. What's it called? Lenny and Larry's. Lenny and Larry's cookies are so good. To die They're for. the best. You know what? I think I would, well, you know what? Can I say something? And I think that I think 90% of the Man Mafia watching right now is thinking the same thing. Cisgender. It's like. You're skinny. It's like you, 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 like we have problems because we're fat. Not all of you are fat, but most of us are. Um, <laughs> yeah. What is that? Like, the, the is like, mafia, like <laughs> relax. I'm saying you still, you there's still, even if you're skinny, you don't have to worry about gaining weight. You still have to worry about fucking what you're eating all the time, constantly. Of yeah, it's called. That's health, like, it. Never brother. ends. I do. Yeah, I do too. But you don't. Yeah, you're... health doesn't like it doesn't end. You're not like okay, I can finally but stop caring eating, about what I'm eating. eating. You, you, what you eat affects you that much. Like for me, it's like it's uh, like I, I gain tons of weight if I eat if I look at a fucking pasta the wrong way. Yeah, I, it's not really like weight for me. It's more like how I feel. Yeah. Like I've like if I was skinny like you, I, I wouldn't give a fuck what I ate. Yeah, but here's the thing: skinny fat is worse than. But you're not skinny it, fat. You're yes, skinny. I am. Skinny fat is worse than regular fat because skinny like regular fat everything is but like measured out. If you're skinny with a little fucking pouch, uh, -uh. you're not getting skinny fat because of. You, uh, what you're eating, you get skinny fat because you're not working out. 
I actually, I'm now I'm back in the gym. I'm like hammering the. He fucking sent me a gym. picture of a guy on all fours with an asshole in the air, <laughs> looking at a dog gym. ball at the gym. What was happening there? Yeah, this guy. Uh, I gotta quit the gym that I'm at. It's too much. I gotta use gym pass we have here. He was just on all fours. What's My, wrong with the gym we're going to? It's too gay. Is it a gay gym? Uh basically. What yeah. is it called? It's the Equinox on Greenwich. So you've so it's, <laughs> but it's just so expensive. Like I gotta quit, and we have gym pass here, so I can go. I pay, an, I pay an exorbitant amount of money to go to this gym. How much is it? We actually, um, it's 360 bucks a month. 360? And you still fat? That'll be 300, yeah. 360? <laughs> oh my God. Then I was teeing that up. The thing is, I get a better workout if I'm in a worse gym. Like if I'm in a nice gym, I'm like taking my time. Like you're oh, afraid this... of, of getting shot. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is comfortable. <laughs> like if I'm in a bad gym, I'm like, I want to get in and out. Like the best workouts I ever had was when I was doing Barstool Breakfast. I would leave here, walk to 28th Street when the show got out at 9 a.m., work out for an hour, shower with the homeless people, come back. And then that was it. Ten bucks a month. It was an absolute fucking dream. But anyway, I was eating like shit. So I got to get back on my diet. And I'm going to play basketball today, so I won't be able to walk for three days, and that'll be fucking... Where are you playing basketball outside? Um, I want to. I, I saw the clowns at West 4th. You I, can ball already with the shoulder? I, like, tested it last weekend, and it, like, wasn't I mean, great. It was, yeah, but you got to worry about someone else, like, bodying you or I something. I know, that's the that's thing. Like, I, like, tried doing, like, a layup, and I was like, ooh, that doesn't feel good. But I feel like that's better physical therapy than being, like, walk around with a kettlebell above your head. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I wouldn't trust the other people to not give you a, a good body check i don't know i'm right i am working it does feel good to actually sweat but i really need to like sweat to like get out the evil i didn't even drink this weekend it was awesome i drank friday yeah, me either i mean i drank i had the one glass of wine probably and then we had three cocktails on the boat and that was it drinking is trashy drink is disgusting i watched an amazing documentary last night a shockumentary if you will it's on netflix it's called lover stalker killer Oh, that's, all, that's older, right? No, Lover it just came out. Killer? Oh, this is like, it's like individual, like, Dateline things, right? No, it's one show. One movie. It just came out. Oh! Okay. This is a shock humanity. If you want to see something good on TV, it's about you know, an hour and a half or whatever. This has everything you need. If you like true crime, if you like suspense, if you like love triangles, you like all this shit, you are going to love this. It, it, once you think, think you figured it out, it fucks you overall again. It is a mind fuck. It is the crazy, one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. Um, I kept wanting more. I kept wanting more. I kept wanting to hear about more murders and not murders, more like crazy things that were going on. So it's about this guy who went online. He, you know, he went online. He was divorced. Went to the city. Went online. He was dating a couple girls here and there, and then shit hits the fan. Um, in this twisting documentary, a mechanic's tire. A mechanic tries online dating for the first time and meets a woman who takes romantic obsession to a deadly extreme. Yep. Ooh. Um. This is new on Netflix. Do you want to watch the, the trailer? Oh, we can't. Uh, oh, you know what I watch on Netflix? You said TikTok documentary about the dancing tribe. I don't. Fucking. I hate TikTok, and I don't want to give any support to anything they have to offer. It was so good. It was called Dancing for the Devil, the seven million, the seven million TikTok cult, and it was about this like group of people who basically got sucked into this Asian church in California, and this guy like controlled their lives. And one of the people who's the main character like is still on TikTok. Her name is Miranda Derrick. And she's like, refuses to talk to her family about it. It's fucking. I hate her too. Insane. Oh, she's the worst. But if you need something to watch, watch Ugh. this. I just don't understand how people can get sucked into a cult. Like I've seen so many documentaries about, you know, Scientology and Leah Remini and all this shit. How do you get sucked in? We just talked about fucking Trump in the beginning. That's a cult. You think? Yes. It's it's it's, it's no. It's I think that's, that's, I think different. that's, that's much di different yeah, than a that's fucking different. cult. <laughs> Is it? I think people take it to like cult. They're level. doing it to themselves. Like they don't like. No one's forcing them to do anything. This, these people are yeah. like, what are you having? Like I can only eat what they tell me to for dinner. Like they're yeah. working. Oh, religion. <laughs> they're that's, yes. that's a cult. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's literally it. Yeah, this was like a church that he would make these people work a hundred hours a week, give all the money. I just don't understand how if you get to because, that point, you're not like because they have no self esteem. They have they have no sense of self, and they are they are desperate. Um, Brain dead losers that don't have any 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 self awareness or anything, so they, they they need other people to tell them what to do, and that's that's what they that's how they feel comfortable. I think it would be. I'd like to be a cult leader because they have nothing inside of themselves to offer. Yeah, I think like a cult leader would be cool. Like being in a cult. I don't know. Are we cult leaders? No. Oh. What would be late? What would we be leading? The man mafia. No. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Forget the like, yes like and. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes okay. and. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to tell you about something else. Great. Hey, 
on about listeners. I'm here to tell you there's no reason to panic next time you're searching for the perfect gift. Now you can use Gift Mode on Etsy. Gift Mode on Etsy takes the stress out of gift giving so you can give the perfect gift to anyone on your list anytime. It's easy. Just tap Gift Mode on your Etsy app or Etsy.com. Then answer a few short questions about who you're shopping for and what they like in Gift Mode instantly gives you curated gift ideas based on hundreds of personas. And there's a lot of pressure around gifting. I feel it a ton. Joey's good at it because he uses gift mode, but I usually have a hard time thinking of great gift ideas and that's where gift mode comes into play. So with gift mode on Etsy, I can search hundreds of gifting personas and find the incredible item that's perfect for the person who I'm buying for. That's right. Now it's simple to find gifts to independent sellers for the people, all the people in your life. Um, so whether you're looking for a housewarming gift, for the beauty guru, birthday gift for your fashionista friend, or your mom, your dad, whoever, it's gift mode has you covered. Um, need to find the perfect gift? Don't panic. Try gift mode now on Etsy. Oh, speaking of cults, you hear about Lenny Kravitz, who was celibate for nine years? That's celibacy is like a cult. There's a celibacy, a celibacy cult online. I was celibate for twelve years. Remember? Full, full blown twelve. I told you, except for those two cab drivers I blew. Up. Yeah, I, those don't count though. That's a mm. mull. I, th- I consider that a mulligan in the biz. Um, mm. Nine years, and then he went online. He was talking about it, and then Ice T went. On, you know Ice T and his yeah. wife Coco Chanel. Yeah. He went online and started fucking killing him. Called him a weird fuck. All this stuff. But Lenny Kravitz, this is a guy who wears leather pants with a, a Prince Albert, alleges that he was sober. He's like the weirdest guy ever. He does all this like super holistic, all this shit going on. He got flamed by Ice T. Exactly. Assuming we don't know who Lenny Kravitz is. Well, I don't know. The younger crowd might not. The younger, really? no, like I do, but Lenny Kravitz is right. Oh, I guess I, of course, know who he is. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, so what's the problem here? Ice T is saying that he's a creep. Yeah, Ice T oh. showing well, him, which Ice-T I, very which cool. I what's, love. What are, what are Ice T's credentials besides being a refreshing <laughs> he's, herb based, he's fa- fa- herb, herbal based, <laughs> urban based? Uh, I'm a chief. He's <laughs> well. He's the founder. Is he the founder of NWA? No, he's not. Ice T. Who's NWA? That's that's uh, Ice Cube. That's Ice Cube. <laughs> uh, he's in. Oh, well, I know he's the original player hater. Uh, he's from New Jersey. Hating truly is an he's art He's an actor form. from um, the, yeah, from that but, show. From the, the, yeah, but he's like a cop a, show. Oh, he's a Jersey guy? Yeah, he lives in Jersey. He still yeah. does in Edgewater. Why does he always rep L.A.? Born is 19- that a Jersey guy? Yes, he is. He lives in, he lives in Edgewater. Yeah, but now. like from New Jersey. Now. Well, no one's from New Jersey. Only the only the trash is from New Jersey. Original gangster, home invasion. He's one of these guys who just transformed his career into like making a bajillion fucking dollars. Good for him. He's like an actor on Blue Bloods or something. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, Joey's right. New York, yeah. New Jersey. I told you. And everyone, he's lived there the whole this. time. Education, oh, so he grew up in Crenshaw, though. Yeah, okay. Years active, 1982 to present. Smash or pass, iced tea? Pass. Pass. <laughs> Smash or pass, Coco? Pass. Smash. Really? Yeah. She's, they've been together forever, him and Coco. Look at her. I love the, I love the pencil thin eyebrow era. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I took the motorcycle out this weekend. Oh yeah. How, how is that going? You know, I don't think I realized all the costs that are associated with it at the time. Like gas? Like gas, insurance, housing. I have to get luggage. I got to get shit for the brakes. I got to get a new helmet visor. I got to get all this stuff. I'm Why like, do you think this doesn't I'm come like with all this hemorrhaging. shit? hemorrhaging. No, it's all like little add-ons. So I'm like hemorrhaging money. So you don't have to have it. You just want it. Yeah, but it makes it more comfortable. But I took a beautiful ride out to Jersey this weekend. It was absolutely fabulous. Why'd you go there? Literally just to ride. There's like this supposed to be this great, awesome trail. It's in Harriman State Park, like the Seven Lake region. Seven. So you went up ta- uptown. Uptown. It was absolutely beautiful. I know where it is, but it's, I, I, you I, do. It's right on the waterfront. Yeah, yeah. There's like lakes everywhere. It was fucking awesome. It was nice to have like you know what it is. It's a, it's nice to have a sober activity. What is? How loud is it though? Mm, it's not. It's not too loud. You definitely. Why does hear it have it? to be loud? Like I, I that the. Boom. Like, oh, I, I wouldn't would, do that. I would want to no, be around no, no. that. It could be a migraine the whole time driving. Yeah, and especially if you have your helmet on and you put the visor down, it like internalizes it. Like, isn't the point you? of doing doing like a sleek, sexy, modern, Italian crafted uh, vehicle oh, should not that's be so beautiful? Well, compared to like a chopper, like a, yeah. a big Harley Davidson, like chopper. those are like you know that's supposed to like. But like, what, what, well, what they say the loud there's safety when it's loud because people hear you coming before they see. Well, you. It doesn't matter, but wouldn't you want think about, <laughs> that's, like a, that's literally the one thing. Don't you think with a motorcycle like that, like an Italian motorcycle, it should be like smooth and quiet and like the most smoothest ride you ever had instead of like some like weird. Yeah, it's, I, again, like some people have different preferences. Whatever. Do you remember that show, American Chopper? Yeah. Do you? Those guys are the most your type guys. Phil Tuttle. Look up Phil Tuttle from American Chopper. I like all American guys. All? All American. What about African American? Clean cut. They're American. I know. I'm kidding. 
Oh, Paul Tuttle. Ew. No, Paul Tuttle is Joey's type. That looks like your a, mother's asshole. <laughs> a young Paul Tuttle. That is you. You know that's I can see I mean, it. I mean, I, I, I would not. I wouldn't say. I don't like these guys. No. Get out you of here. Like the, you don't like them at all. No. Ew. That was like peak two that like late two thousands reality TV. I can't bring him on a, a, a nautical adventure. <laughs> you can't bring him to Grand Banks. No, I can't bring him to Grand Banks. I bet you could. He's rich as hell. He has the same tattoo as you. He does. <laughs> that look, Joey. This is like a guy who like if you had like a daddy, that's who it would be. <laughs> who would it be then? It'd be Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Donald J. <laughs> Um, speaking of right wing Republicans and Jews, you hung out with a very special guest this weekend. I did. I hung out with Mrs. Dow Jones. My Not very- you. Oh, <laughs> Vinny hung out with Man Mafia. <laughs> oh yeah, front what man, the fuck? Marty Black. I did. I did. Wait, now, was that planned? No, no. He. It was actually really funny because when he came up to me, Marty was up in the up in the the clock tower with a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> when Vinny hung we, the we, thing, we were going to darts, so he was there at the bar, but ahead of time. He came up to me. He goes, "Hey, you're Vinny. Like, oh, I always want to introduce myself, but I got worried that I would." You went te- to darts. You're all the same group together. Yeah, yeah. there's like a hundred people. For they always go. We never, yeah, yeah. I never went yet. Yeah, I haven't either. I'm still hungover from it, to be honest. And uh, he's like, he's like, oh, I wanted to text you and whatever, but I just thought you'd be like mad and it, like he he thought I'd be like, who's this fucking pussy texting me? I'm the producer now. Like that's oh, what he, no. that's, <laughs> that's what he thought my reaction would be if he texted me. So he said he never sent me a text. <laughs> I was like, Mark nah, Tish. I wouldn't have done Did that. Did you? I, I was wondering. I was just, I if there was a fly on the wall, the, the complaints they were going back and forth. Like, oh Joey's, my is God. Joey so difficult to work with? Uh, is, yeah. uh, is, is, is Trish still neurotic? Yeah. Oh, does Trish have to much. eat lunch before he goes to, to radio? We only did a every, little bit of that, not too much of that. I can't even imagine. <laughs> that would have been great. Fly on the wall. His uh, fiance was there too, though, so I met her. Yeah, Haley. Oh, Haley, our yeah. sweet, sweet Haley. She's just reading you. She Haley, and, Haley and Brenna get into a fight. <laughs> Mar- Marty and Vinny get into a fight. Um, but that was like, it was it was the most liked picture on the Man Mafia uh, on our Instagram. I think in the past year. Yeah, it, it was. was. Yeah, as, as soon as it. as soon as I sent that to Marty's, like they're gonna post that in like two minutes. Yeah, yeah. Marty beats you to saying it. They're gonna post it. <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, you know that's Marty. What fans Marty want. does numbies. The fans well, miss him. The fans do miss Marty. Yeah, he and he like apologized. He's like, "I'm sorry." They all say they miss me and don't like you. It's like it's all good. Marty's well, we say best. it too, so it's fine. <laughs> like, it's fine. I get it. Um, so, so you hung out. You also hung out with a Jew this weekend. I did. I did. Me and Mrs. Mrs. Dow Joe. Me and Mrs. Dow Joe. We went what did out. you guys get up to? Dinner and a show. Um, shotgunning Manischewitz. <laughs> exactly. Dinner and dinner a show. Dinner and a show what, with the Queen. Who was? What show did you um, watch? I wanted. I it was called Ha 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 NYC. Not really. Was it a mirror that you just looked into? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not really for me. I will say that it was. Was it a play or a musical? It was like a like this woman won like the Edinburgh uh, like comedy like festival like with this show and she brought it to New York. It was good. It was fucking out there though. Like I would rather just watch stand up than watch like some abstract whatever. And there was this fucking drunk Eastern European woman next to us talk. It was talking the entire time. It was brutal. <laughs> Mm-mm. Absolute trash. No, and it was a I 10 p.m. Go. show. I was like an adult. Yeah, I can't go out. into group settings like that. What? Sitting with the public. Really? No. You haven't sat with the public since you were in Gen Pop. No, <laughs> haven't. <laughs> so it was. It was something. Plays are not for me in general. I'd rather go to a sporting event. I like think the last time I sat in an audience man. like that was when me and you went to that fucking funeral. Oh yeah. Invited us to the. Weird- oh, don't say that. Don't Whatever. He invited us to the weirdest like ballet thing of all time. Okay, and yes, and should we do yes and exercise right now? Yes. But it just turns into the shadiest thing in the world. And yes, and you don't look sweaty today. <laughs> yes, and I took a shower last night and then wet my hair this morning in the sink. You <laughs> what your hair in the sink like a middle schooler? You're yeah, because I had bedhead. You're trying to get rid of that alfalfa? Yeah, it sticks so up. you put a finger wave in? No, I cut my hair. I, you notice I got rid of my part. Now I'm, I'm, I'm styling it a little bit more freeform. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, you're doing it for pride. Stop saying that. Does it make you uncomfortable? I yeah. didn't notice you got a, you do have a cross on your leg. That's a T for my ex. A T, it's a T. To, that's where you put your T-slams in? Right into those goddamn thighs? 
With Father's Day right around the corner, what do you give to the man who has everything? Easy. You give him an experience he'll never forget. You give him Omaha Steaks because a world-class dad deserves world-class steaks. Well, I thought the gift was a date with you at the at the, at the new show. It is, well, this this is in addition to, the, to that gift. Wait, before we start, they, they, I, I had the box sent to me before the weekend. Oh, yeah. You cooked it up. Omaha Steaks. I... I, I cooked everything in the box. Okay, let me yep. show you. So what you got? The burgers. Yep. They were the juiciest. They came frozen. The most easy to cook burgers. They were juicy. They were flavorful. They were the perfect burgers. The hot dogs. Like, I've never had like yeah. a, a fancy hot dog before. Right. I'm used to the grocery store stuff. This, it still had the integrity of a hot dog, but it was like you can tell this was quality. It was the most flavorful hot dogs. Their chicken, their steaks were amazing. Their seasoning. I got this little seasoning uh, packet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was good. Um. And with Omaha Steaks, the possibilities are endless, endless flavor, endless varieties, endless value. Truly have they perfected more than the steak. Your dad's guaranteed to love every bite. With math rewarding gift packages starting at just $89. When you go to omahasteaks.com, use promo code OUT at checkout. Each package is backed by their unconditional money-back guarantee. Show your dad the love he deserves with a gift as unforgettable as he is. Visit omahasteaks.com, promo code OUT at checkout. That's omahasteaks.com, promo code OUT at checkout. Get your father some Omaha Steaks, please. What are you doing Wednesday? No, we're doing Thursday. Well, I'm going to a very special event. A group setting. A group setting. Which a very intimate event. Which technically you will be in VIP. If this is, can I put a rope? Should I put a rope up on the stage? <laughs> a red velvet rope? Just around my seat. <laughs> a red velvet rope. <laughs> and you're sitting in a regular chair. Yeah. And I just has a rope around it. The, like you, a have, pig you, have, you have a guy there putting the velvet thing on and off? <laughs> if, they want to, if the fans want to address me. Um, but we're talking about we're going to be at the White House. I'm um, chaining ourselves to the fence with. Yes. And you, I'm going to tattoo. <laughs> yep. Um, right on his chest, baby. So, and uh, what else do I protest? Black two, trans lives. 2A. 2A. 1A as well. 1. Justice for Lenny Kravitz. Justice for, <laughs> justice for Kravitz's cock. Yeah, I'm just going to protest all the hot topics. Do they and do th tours of the White House? Do they do tours? Yeah. I'm sure they do. Can yeah. You take a tour of the White House? No, I don't want to do that. A White House in our full garb, our full geesh. You walk in with a power blazer on, <laughs> with the thing. Right, <laughs> right this way, Mr. Bond. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in. I got. I hear we we're having an issue right now at the at the embassy. <laughs> um, <laughs> then you come, you come in and start doing. Pre you address the White House see, press corps. I can see you, you being the press there. secretary. Oh, wait, I can I'm totally hoping. see that. Him as the press wait, secretary. I'm hoping, one second. This is gonna be. Wait. Okay. So I'm hoping that at the show this Wednesday in DC that. We're going to be doing a live beep this thing of of, of the um Oh Kevin, that's, that's say, so gonna, good. Gonna, 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 gonna say that. that is gonna, so gonna, fucking good. And yeah, so you have to come to the show to see what we're talking about. Do you have the video? I can get the video. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> yeah, I got it on a hard drive. I actually convert it back to to DVD. Yeah, <laughs> he has it. Nana's um, got it on a CD ROM. That's gonna be the, the, everyone's gonna go crazy for that oh, at the DC God, show. Yeah. I got another, I got two, I opened it up last night. I was like, I should probably fucking put something together for this. And I got some good stuff, but that'll, that'll take it to the next level. When are you flying in? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. I'm taking the train. My train gets in at like 3.30 or something. At Thursday? Yeah. Mine gets in at like 1.30. I am? You missed the show? <laughs> no, 1.30 on, on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday. Yeah. We don't need a whole extra day there. What time do you leave on Wednesday? Or Thursday to go back? Friday to go back. What time do you leave on Friday to go back? My flight's at... 1? 1 p.m. I have to go right to Ivan Point. Ladies, if you want to come see me and have a big party, I'm going to go party this weekend. Where? Atlantic City. Me and, uh, me and Snoopy are hosting um, Harris Pool Party um, this Saturday, June 6th at Harris in Atlantic City. So come one, come all. We'll be doing um, a stage performance. A stage performance? A stage performance. Oh, we're, stage. Gonna, we're just going to be sitting there drinking and kikiing and key saying, key? Hi to the, saying hi to the fans and you know doing little... Highs and buys. And How fun. And this is the same time. Oh, you did this last year, right? That and was a show. This is just a party. But it's the same kind of one day turnaround. Yeah. So you're not going to be boozing too hard in DC. No, I don't think. Are, can you get, isn't it a dry town, DC? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. no DC is fine. I, is I, had a, I lived in DC for a summer, interned there. I had a great time. What did you intern? Finance? Yeah, it was, it was actually insurance, even more boring. Oh, God. But it was it was right before Trump got in office, so it was nice. <laughs> it was not very political at the time. It was great. Yeah. The good old days. Yeah, the good old days. Trump uh, but you know what I would like to do? I'd like to go out there. I'm sure we'll go for a drink. Oh, my, oh, we are. 
Oh, I totally forgot. Sorry. What? My cousins all are for, all live there. They're coming yeah. to the show, and they're gonna find a place for us to go after. They they're all they they're there. They live there. Oh, perfect. So they're gonna have to get a, they're finding a place for us to go after. So have we're gonna I go out met with these them cousins? after. You've met them. I have maybe. One, two, three. I have like four cousins coming all in the area. I didn't realize Do they that, live like, there. Uh, Maryland, Virginia. Well, my, my, so I didn't realize how close it all is, like right there. The DMV. Mo- most people. Well, DC is not a real place. It's just like a section of Virginia. That's what it stands for, DMV. DC, Maryland, Virginia. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. Try right. motor vehicle drivers. That's what's. And that too. <laughs> now you have a house in Virginia. You know we've. That's sad. You know we've been trying to get that for years. <laughs> No, it'll be fun. DC is supposed to be pretty fun. And it's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's supposed to be like a good scene, like a good party scene. It's young. A lot of White House staffers. How exciting. I'm really excited. Can you tell? Yeah, you seem thrilled. I just don't want Condoleezza Rice to show up again. Show up how? In your dreams? In no, your show nightmares? up to, my, to where I'm at if you could, try to fight me. If you could have one politician stay, one politician dead or alive come to or activist come to the dc show who would it be anyone in the history of american politics oh i know monica you'd have, you'd monica, have, Lewinsky, you'd have yeah. monica go God i did damn. her makeup once you did where at work, at Chris, at, uh, I worked at the Mac. Oh, well, you were working on Christopher there, yeah. Street in the nineties. Monica Lewinsky came into Christopher Street Mac in the nineties. Yeah, everyone did. And you, f- and this was pre or post? Pre what? The scandal. Post. And she just came in, and you just fucking lit her up with my makeup. Well, she would shop there all the time, so she would, so I was doing, she had to go. She was going somewhere, and she, you know they booked me to do her makeup. That is wild. What was she like? Just regular, regular is normal. Regular, regular, schmegular. Yeah, everyone sucks cock. Just because hers was televised doesn't mean it makes her yeah. any bit more of a whore. I'd probably blow the pre- – uh, I don't know. I don't think I would blow a president. I would blow a politician. I don't think I would blow a president. Like a closeted Republican senator. Sure. Are you going to try to find one more there? Of course. Can I do a grinder dating show for you and have three bachelors from the, from the local area Three bachelors from the, from, uh, from the floor of Congress? <laughs> would you do that? Would you let me do a speed dating thing for you? Of course. Yeah. I can host it? Yeah. If you actually, ladies, if you okay, actually gays, do okay, it. then, then I, okay, three gays. I'll give you comp tickets if you can come to the show and you DM oh, slide God. into my DMs. What? I'm already like regretting this. I need three homosexuals. You can get a comp ticket to the show just to try, try to win a date with Trish. Slide into the DMs, um, at out and about, and I will be checking. If you're re- really serious, I'll give you a comp ticket to the show, you and a friend, and then you can be on the dating show. But I need three. Then be serious. If you know you don't have a shot with Trish, she's very picky. <laughs> everyone, has, believe me, everyone, everyone has a shot with me. You know, What's no the fats, criteria? no femmes, no Asians. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You didn't. Vinny didn't know that. They used to be able to filter fucking uh, grinder by like race. That's wild, huh? I think you, can, you, you can do that on, on like other ones too. I think. No, no that's can't. not. A, everyone does that. That's just pre- it's preference. They, they can say, say what yeah. you like. You know what you're looking for. Yeah, but for. you can't do that on an app anymore. There's not a single app that lets you do that. I, really, I. When I was single, you were able to. That's what I was just saying. That's why why I've been off. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But yeah, dating show for Trish. And then you have to have live sex in front of us all. I have to to perform a live sex act in front of the thing. At the the Capitol. uh, uh, We have to reenact the Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky. Yeah. I put a cigar in my pussy and then you have to smoke it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'll be finding a man's in D.C. I don't well, you will now. Something. They're going to be signing out and about DMs. I hope that there's been more homosexuals coming. I hope there are some homos coming. There are a lot of gay bars in D.C. I don't want to do that. A lot of gay bars. I want to know like where like the politicians hang out. Probably in their houses. No. I feel like politi- what politician? Isn't politicians, politicians are there? scumbags. Politicians are drinkers. They're drug users. They're closeted homosexuals. They're like I want like what's like the cruisiest like politic bar. In DC. For gays? No, for anyone. Oh, Everyone. Okay. Here you go. Seven Washington DC bar cocktail bars that politicians go to. Number one, off the record. Oh, that's a great name for a bar. Located just behind the White House. The place to be seen and not heard. Okay, that's one. Off the record. Number two, tune in. If you're looking for juicy gossip where DC staffers drink, go to tune in. Le Diplomat. That sounds like something you would go to. 
A favorite of the Bidens. God, I would kill to party with Hunter Biden. That would be unbelievable. The Old Ebbett Grill opened in 1856. BLT Steak. That sounds poor. Cafe Milano. The Palm. The Palm Restaurant. Well, we won't be going to the Palm. I think I'll be going to the Diplomat or the other one. I want juicy gossip. Off the record. I want a martini. What was the show with Kevin, Cost- Kevin uh, Spacey called where he played the politician? House of Cards. I want like I want like House of Cards vibe. Minus, you know, Kevin Spacey vibes. I want like sipping a martini in like a darkly lit room covered in mahogany. I whore out Nana. She's in the back corner. I go, you gentlemen looking for a good time? They go, yeah, maybe. They All of a sudden they turn behind me. Nana's sitting there in a long wig in a triple stack A-frame bob. Yeah, I would have a long wig. In an I would have something more short and like voluminous. Bi- you'd have something more. Bi- you'd have something more. So, something bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's like Jane number? Fonda. Like like, like someone Jane Fonda's here. Something. Uh, Nana, Nana's in a bitchy, a bitchy wig in the back. <laughs> tight blazer with a tighter ass. I go, you gentlemen looking for a good time? I got just the thing. Drinking bourbon neat. <laughs> Nana, Nana's drinking a bourbon neat. A smoking, long, a cig- smoking a cigar with my pussy. <laughs> she's got a, a long, a long ivory Round cigarette, cigarette smoker. <laughs> a, a Pall Mall unfiltered 100. Mm-hmm. Uh, slurping down oysters slurping down oysters <laughs> <laughs> hawking down oysters she's a boar in the bedroom and a beast in the and a beast in the boardroom <laughs> what would you wear to seduce a politician probably now she will tour.com yeah probably you think politicians will probably i would imagine that this is the talk of dc it's just shaking things up is it shaking up the agenda i th- <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's crossing po- political lines. That it's crossing would be to lines. ruffle some feathers. Should we? Should we suggest should we suggest policy while we're in DC? Yeah. George Santos was. Did you see him going off online? Oh god, no. He was mouthing off about what happened with the president. Oh, what's he calling it a sham? He's still hope that that queen is still hoping for a cabinet like, and position. You? I'll show you. I can't pull it up. It's like. Too what's much. he well, What did he say? I'll put it in the microphone. Instagram. Here he is. Ready? You coward. How about you subpoena Judge Mershon and his daughter? Get to the bottom of this sham trial here in New York City. Do something real, James. Stop with the charade. Look at the teeth. The Look at the teeth. Look at the mouth. Look at the lips. Actually do something. I'm sure even your colleagues on the other side of the aisle would appreciate. He's the word colleagues to make it think like he's a real person. Yeah. New York City trial and the conduct of Judge Juan Mershon. I dare you, James. Go be the man you pretend to be. Cow- Meanwhile, he, this, he's, he's doing that from a... a hey, James Comer. You cow- we actually have James Comer here today. <laughs> he looked like he recorded that from a, a condo in Great Neck. She's a mess. I'd like to have him on. I'd definitely like to have him on. Do any of these appeal to you? The Diplomat? Old David Barr? No, I don't care about any of this. I want to just get there and get home. Okay. That was a good conversation. <laughs> I'm pulling, pulling teeth here. <laughs> Um, no, I'm sure they're all lovely, but I, you know, I'm, just, I, I'm a simple gal. I just like, you know, like somewhere to sit, air conditioning, yes, people not bothering me, and an ice-cold martini. That's all Nana needs. I'll drink, maybe I'll drink martinis when I'm there. Should we do the show in suits? Yeah. Meghan Markle style? I'm trying to think. Either that or like, like old- Veep. No, not Veep. Like- um. Old tiny like, powdered wigs. Yeah, powdered wigs. Like yeah, like like George Washington and stuff. That'll be good. You can be Link- you can be Abraham Lincoln and fuck a black chick. <laughs> Yo, you no, you want me to be Abraham Lincoln? So you could shoot me in the head. Oh yeah, he did get killed. Yeah, rest in power. <laughs> Talk about an ally. He was actually gay. Abraham Lincoln. Was he? So was JFK was gay did too. It, yeah, wait. We, we did Everyone a whole th- sucks, Dick. We did a whole thing about Abe Lincoln being gay like a long time ago. Didn't yeah, we? Abe Lincoln was gay. JFK yeah. was gay. JFK was hot back in the day. He had a gay little like lover. The real boy. Jeff K? Yeah, he had he had like a gay friend who was always with him. Oh, he was good looking. J- Abraham Lincoln? No, oh, JFK. Imagine how dirty the dicks were back then. Like you have a civil war cock. Stop, I'll get hard. <laughs> Don't bully me, I'll come. You have a you have a union cock? What's a, that? A, like a, a southern like union cock? A Confederate cock? No, no, no. I'm not laughing. Go to, uh, <laughs> look up JFK's sexuality. You got to see this little twink who he used to bang. Ooh. JFK's breast friend. 
Lem was his name. Len. Lem Billings. L E M Billings. <laughs> you mean to tell me this guy's not gay? JFK and his friend? Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. They were in love. I love those pants. The pleated? Pleated pants. Uh, pleated is pants. Back. I know. I just got a pair. Oh, my God. I have the best ladies and have my hefty hideaway girls and gen- gents. I mean, I found the best shorts in the world. Where? And Bloomingdale's. They are exactly what I need. They're, uh, they're crisp white ivory. Stunning. I love it. And I got them. I have to get them. They're dry clean only, though. But they have size 40. What's that mean? They, just, they go up to size 40. They have everyone's size. Oh, what is 40? I don't even, never even heard of that. That's the waist size that they go up to. Oh, waist size 40. Yeah, I'm like, not as 40 anymore. That? I used to be, though. But um, I now you can never find something. You know I mean? Fat and high fashion, it only goes up to like a size 34, 36. Fat and high fashion? Yeah, but I'm saying if you're if you're heavy, and you're if you're heavy and you need and you want some like nice designer clothes, go over to Theory at um, Bloomingdale's. You'll see some nice options for yourself. That '60s style is back. It's been back since last summer. And it's like the I wore jet- those pants. To, I wore those Ralph Lauren purple label pants to Easter last summer. Remember the pleated white ones? Yeah. I well, lost them. I don't know where they are. How do you lose a pair of Ralph Lauren purple label pants? I think people are stealing. Look at JFK's body. Who do you think stealing? I think uh, my people who do my laundry are stealing my laundry. I'm missing like two pairs of pants. I'm like, who is going to wear my pants? No one has bo- a body like So you, uh, you borrowed the UPS driver's pants today then? I did. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm. Oh, I love this picture. How pretty. Yeah. How aesthetic. Where's this? That's what, I think that, that's what men should look like. Hyannis. Take notes, take notes uh, gents. This is what. This is classic style. Classic, classic summer style. gentleman style. Anyone can wear it. It's a polo shirt. It is uh, some ni- nice fitting pants or slacks, a nice wristwatch, some cool sunglasses, and just a, a clean cut vibe. It's just like, I, that looks good on any man. No matter what, what size yeah. you are, what you, what, you're, what you look like, it's just like, this is just classic. Do you like that slicked back hair like that? He like doesn't I, have slicked back hair. Well, he has like, his hair goes back. Like, I've always wanted to do this with my hair. The guy in the back or the front? I've never gotten to the point where I can have my hair I actually used to, I used to do back. that. I can never get the size JK. long enough to do that. Well, you have to grow it longer because it's not going to fall back. But I feel like it. you'll go through such an awkward stage, it's like not even worth it. It's going to take like a year with my fucking hair growth to get my hair to go back. It also yeah. exposes your hairline, so if your hairline's I going, know, that's it's the tough thing. too. But yeah, right, that, that's like, look like him. That's like Cape Cod like chicness right there. JFK is America, I feel like. Yeah. He was the most well-loved president, I think. We were in, oh, he's, I think, I'll, yeah. I was gonna Wasn't say he? Obama. That was before there was the cults in the, in the White House. Before there was cults in the White House, maybe. What did you say? Before there were cults. Cults in the White House. Cults in the White cults. House. What do you mean? Let's yeah, break that mean? down. I'm cults. curious. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. You know what I mean? The people that are like. Oh, I mean, before it was like, like a big like eat, fuck well, fest, right or left, left, left yeah, or right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's like uh, back when presidents actually wanted to do good in the thing. Are you going to Cape Cod at all this weekend? They're Hyannis tugboats. That's what made me think of it. Best restaurant in Cape Cod, Tugboat Hyannis. No, I'm not going. I told you I was going to Atlantic City this weekend. You're going to AC. Well, the summer is young, dear. Um, summer is very young. Yeah, I'm sure I'll make it out to Cape Cod this summer at some point. You always go out, right? I got invited to 4th of July um, out east. Ooh. So I'm going there with my friend, Samantha. Who's that? My friend, Samantha. She's a friend of mine. She works in the industry. She works in the industry. Are you going to be in that house with all those other strangers? or Different house. We're going to be staying oh. in a different house, but we're doing... um. We have, um, they're the main, they're the main sponsor of Surf Lodge that weekend, so we're going to be at their table. There. Oh, very nice. You know. What's where's the house? Um, I don't know. I didn't, say, I didn't tell me. East East Hampton, South Hampton, Bridgehampton. It's where was it last year? It's probably the same thing. I think it was South. Probably, yeah. I'll be in, I'll be in the Martha's Vineyard for the Fourth of July. I'm I'm bringing it back to the Martha's Vineyard. Oh, good. That's where JFK died. Uh, that's where uh, the lady who was in a car with Teddy Kennedy died. No, but that's where JFK Jr. Oh, yeah, that's crashed. where Clash is playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah him and Carolyn right Bissett. That whole family is goddamn cursed. I would sell Carolyn Bissett makeup as well. Did you? Mm-hmm. They had a beautiful place down in, I think it was 666 six, six, six Greenwich, I believe was the address. Yes. Was, there's like commercials about it and stuff. Yeah, beautiful place in the 90s. The 90s were America. This is the summer of America. This episode should be called Dead Presidents. Dead Presidents. This is the episode of America. Go to store.barcelosports.com if you want 4th of July stuff. We're starting to put it up. We had a great selection, Man Mafia. Can't stop drinking. Can't, what is it? Can't stop drinking if you don't start drinking all day? I didn't see, I, didn't, I, haven't, I haven't perused the website yet, but I, I'm sure I'll, I'll log on and get some fashions. Yes, absolutely. 
And if you want to see us in D.C., there are still tickets available. Go to nationaltour.com. And they're for the three gay people I'm hiring. Yeah, they're for the three. I'm going to be so mad at you if you do that. What, so you don't want to do it? No, I'll do it. Gays, I think it'll be great. Slide into the DMs. Vinny will answer you. Uh, if you want to come to D.C. and um, you're available, I can get you a ticket to the show. But you have to be on stage and you have to be on open to coming out with us afterwards and having sex with Trish. Well, we don't need the sex, but how? imagine if I actually bet my husband at the live show. And I, and I, and I facilitated it? Oh, my God. Then you're just stuck with me forever? That would be something. Well, go to thisasbeenlovely.com right now if you want that show to end. <laughs> <laughs> go to nationaltour.com. Uh, happy Pride, everyone. We love you. Uh, God loves you. Vinny loves you. And Joey, well, he's indifferent. God hates Thank you. See you on Friday. <laughs>